Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good day to you. How are you doing? Um, today, I would like to speak upon, or make a video upon, ghostly shadows. Lots of people have seen them. These ghostly shadows are seen by many people, and um, they're afraid. Ch children see them. People see them. For example, when you watch television and you look in the corner of your eyes, you'll see a shadow moving to go across your wall. It could be a shadow of a, a young child. It could be a shadow of a grown-up, an animal, a creature. It could be something dark running across the baseboard of your floor. You think it's a mouse, but it's not. What are these shadows that people are seeing more and more? These shadows are evil. They are very earthbound at the lowest degree. And they have no laws, no principles. They're so low that they're considered demons. And um, many people are speaking out about this without fear. Before, many years ago, people would be afraid to speak out. They think that people will call you crazy. But because because of modern, modern society um, and the way things are, and because a lot of movies come out about spirits and hauntings, people now are openly speaking about it. These spirits can cause trouble. They can cause night terrors on children or grown ups. You sleep in and you, you sleep in and you wake up uh, yelling because some horrible thing happened to you when you were sleeping. A dream that you had that was really terrible. You would think it's you would call it a nightmare, but it's not. If you see, if you see these shadows around your walls or moving around and you go to sleep and you have a nightmare, it's not a nightmare. It's a haunting. If you wake up uh, after seeing these uh, nightly shadows, you wake up next morning or a little on after a nap and, and find um, scratch marks on your arm, demons. If families are fighting, if things fall off the shelf, if people are arguing, if um, a person who, who, who usually doesn't use vulgarity starts to use vulgarity more and more, evil spirits. Mm -hmm. If a child is afraid to go to sleep and tells the parents, I see a shadow, they're not lying. It really could be a shadow. It could be a demon. The earth, or a very earthbound spirit of the lowest degree that play tricks on people. More and more people are seeing these shadows. In my family, I remember my family, so I've seen these shadows. My, uh, um, I remember my family who was very young, a child in my family, recently woke up screaming in terror. And then the mother asked him, what happened? Why are you screaming? Why are you scared? And he pointed towards the wall and said, The shadow came to me in my dream. The shadow, a white shadow, right there on the wall. You see? So, what is the answer? How do we, how do we, how do we defend ourselves against these shadows? What do we do? Well, the shadows are afraid of light. And they're afraid of Jesus. Many people say, uh, um, testify that when they use the word of Jesus and rebuke the shadow, the shadows go away. But they come back in the future somehow. They come back. I believe because they didn't, they didn't uh, get scared of, uh, they, didn't run, they didn't run scared from the name of Jesus. They ran into a doorway, like a, a portal they came from. And they can come back anytime they want. It's like, it's like if I scare somebody in a room that's, that's inside a room and they run out the door into another room. That's what I believe happened here. 
This is, this is my belief. I'm a, I'm a universal spiritual scientist. I've been studying this thing all my life. I've been studying the spiritual realms all my life. Um, so, if you don't have to, you don't have to believe me. Okay. So that's from my belief. So when you use the word of Jesus, they they, they run scared because they not, because the name of Jesus puts fear in them. But they also um, run into a doorway, a way, which means they can come back anytime they want. Not every spirit that, that, that you rebuke is going to uh, stay, away, stay away because you use the name of Jesus. Some, some will just run away and come back because there are portals to come from. There are passageways to different places and dimensions. And they come back. They remember who you are, uh, where, where they were, and they come back. Sometimes they come back alone. Sometimes with other other entities. These shadows usually run run away. They are rebuked in the name of Jesus. And if you also picture Jesus coming down and and shining a bright light around you, all your all your children, and see Jesus touching you with a bright light, and you and you surround yourself with light, you will deflect the evilness. They will run away from you. You can call by your you can call by your guardian angels to come down and guide you. Saint Michael the Archangel can come down. About Saint Michael the Archangel, I've in one of my videos that I've already posted on YouTube under the heading uh, Saint Michael the Archangel. Watch that. That will tell you more about about Saint Michael. Okay, how do you know that he's around you? How do you know if your prayers are working? Okay, you'll see the video on YouTube. Okay, just go to Wise Owl, Wise Owl 2, and you'll see it. Wise Owl 2. And, and, and go on to the, uh, the video, Sir Michael the Archangel, and you know more about that. Um, so that's what you do. You can try holy water, but all you're going to do is quit the wall. They, they move fast. They run fast. The shadows. If you see little shadows of things that you think is a mouse running across your, your room, that's those are demons. So don't be surprised if there's fights and arguments in the house, a lot of vulgarity, uh, drug take, uh, drug, uh, drug uh, taking becomes uh, more increasingly. You know, if you're an addict and, you, and you're trying to overcome drugs and you're doing a good job going cold turkey, but then all of a sudden you see black things going back and forth and you have an urge for alcohol or for drugs or something like that, that's what those are the demons. Cast them out. Cast these demons out right away in the name of Jesus. Somebody yourself with the with the beautiful light. Okay? That's the only way to do it. Okay? Unless you want to be captivated by them, taken by them. Bless your children. Bless your, bless your children. Do rosaries. Now see, I'm, I'm talking to you in a this, in this spiritual Christian sense. Or, cath or Catholic sense. But there's other ways. Other people. Wiccans. Buddhists. Hindu. Who do things. Uh, Santerians. Who, uh, who, uh, who will do the same thing. Using different methods. So my method is only for the uh, in the name of Jesus and and it's more Catholic Catholic than anything else. I cannot tell you how the other ones do it. I can because because I because I study all that stuff in the old days. You know the people, the methods, and everything. I can, but I'm not 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 now, not not today because I, I I'm born again in Christ and I believe in the uh, in Mary and Jesus and the saints and stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm going to teach you my view and how to do it. Okay? Um, rebuke the name of Jesus. Do rosaries and call the Virgin Mother Mary down to help you. Evil hates Mary, the Mother of God. They hate her with a passion since the Garden of Eden. Since the Garden of Eden, they hated her. They don't like her. And she has power. As soon as she comes down for beautiful, beautiful white light, they run away from her. They fear her. No one can stand in front of Mary. No evil. Oh, and Jesus, call Jesus down. No one can stand. No evil can stand against Jesus. Or God. Or the angels. Even your whole, even the Holy Spirit will help you. 
the Holy Spirit will give you probably the uh, the gift of spiritual uh, discernment for you to see the evil spirits. Those are the things that are invisible, that's evil. The Holy Spirit will let you see them for a little while. I'll talk about that later on or in a different uh, video. Okay? So if you see shadows, use the name of Jesus. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Sense, uh, and, send, uh, and, and feel yourself with the beautiful light of Jesus. Uh, pretend Jesus is, is, is crushing the shine all around you, in all around your house. Okay? Um, do the rosary. Call upon Mary. The saints. The angels. You got a, you got a lovely family in heaven waiting to help you. A beautiful family in heaven that that would like to that that, that, that love that, that loves you very much and wants to help you, call upon them, okay. God is love. The devil believes in God, and fears and trembles. Okay, and don't leave Mary out. Mary, her beautifulness, her glow, her light. Believe me. Evil knows who the evil spirits know who she is. They will run from her. They have no choice. Her purity, the great immaculate conception, believe me, she has power. So understand that, okay? So don't don't be afraid of the of, of, of night terrors and ghostly encounters or spiritual hauntings. And most of all, shadows. Ghostly shadows. You got a family in heaven that will help you. Go to them. Pray. Pray to God. Let Him know. He loves you. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. What you see in front of you is my, mother, my mother's altar. I got one in my room. And I got one downstairs, my prayer, my prayer table. Lots of people have altars. They believe in, and altars are real good. Especially if, if you want to um, exorcise evil spirits. You, know, you, you can do work with the, uh, with the angels, with St. Michael, with, with Jesus, with Mary, the saints, with God. Wear your brown scapula, do your rosary, and enjoy life. God wants you to enjoy life in the most righteous but the most profound and wonderful way. God is a loving God. He's so wonderful that you that you cannot even you cannot even acknowledge how wonderful he is. It's hard to comprehend. Wonderful, loving God. He really does care. He really does love you. Call upon him to help you with any shadow figures or any ghostly figures coming. To mess with your family in any way, shape, or form. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus, and I guarantee you they'll run. Uh, they may come back, some of them, because they go, they run from one room, room to another room, one realm to another realm, from the earthly plane to the earth, earthly plane to the spiritual plane, and they come back. Okay, their planes are low, low down the earth. This, the God's plane is different dimensions. I, I talk to about different. I talk about different dimensions some other time. Have a good day. And if you like my video, give me one. Give me a thumbs up, one like, subscribe if you want to. Okay. Share this video if you want to, especially if someone is being haunted. If someone ha sees shadow figures walking past their walls, the walls of their house. You're going to be hearing more and more about these shadow figures. Nothing you can do about it. They're becoming more prevalent. Common. So don't, don't laugh at people when they tell you they see shadows uh, in the walls. When they feel somebody looking at them. More and more the spirit world is starting, to, uh, uh, is starting to appear and surround us. More and more each and every day. Don't laugh at people when they, when they say that they're being haunted. Pray with them in the name of Jesus. Have a nice day. This is Jesse. Goodbye.